2022 Southern Hemisphere Cup Division 2. We have four from Camden in this. This is the start of the second lap. I knew we didn't have a sprint plan at all. Uh, nothing organized before the race, so ad libbing it. So I knew staying up near the front in the last lap or two would be the way to go. I actually thought the last lap might have been the bell lap, but it wasn't. So two laps to go now. These two had been away. Sean had spent a lap off the front and Daniel chasing. I was regretting I didn't go with him, but in hindsight that worked out well. So I was going to chase a lot of things from the front here, but this went and I missed it, but wasn't too concerned. I knew someone else would chase that and I would chase them. So I ordered up a escort to the front and here it comes, right on cue. This guy from Manly, who I think I think of him, him as being a strong rider. I don't know why, just from experience. I'm not sure what's happened in the past, but my brain says he's strong. And some of those guys in the front too, I thought were strong. So I thought this is a good place to be. This is Scott in front of me. I know he's also a strong rider. So we've got a small group here, but the pace slowed right down. So we were actually, well, obviously rather caught easily. But they were rolling turns, so I thought would uh, keep that going, keep the pace up, and drop off any dead wood perhaps, and just see what happens. Didn't know Brett and Glenn were having such a good time behind me. I was very focused at this point, trying to observe everything that was happening and being ready to react quickly. As I said earlier, no sprint plans, and with Alex Cameron in the race, uh, first place would be gone in a sprint. So I really thought my best chance, our best chance as a team, would be to hit something long, maybe a lap or half lap out. Here goes another attack up on the rise, which is the worst place for me. This is my weakest spot. They get away, not too alarmed at this point. Again, staying near the front, staying alert. I thought I may have to bridge them later on the flat terrain or, or someone else would bridge this, all this back together. And I saw Glenn go past so at this point I was happy to see Camden there so urgency had gone for me and thought I'd just chase wheels behind, stay in the mix to see what happens. The gap forms here and again Mr. Manley has come to my aid to help bring me back up. Thank you to whoever you are. Jolly nice of you. When you're coming into this down path, downhill and corner, I can make up some space, make up some time. So if I had to, I could jump across, but I did a great job. Didn't need to. I knew I could take this corner faster than most with less people to, nego to negotiate. I thought maybe I can rip past them on the corner and get out, come out the front, the other end of it and front, but then I got cut off by this guy from Camden. And I had to uh, touch the back brakes to avoid that. But all is well. The pace picks up. I'm swerving around the course, and I thought, I think at this point I saw. Got go and I thought I move up to the front to at least chase someone who chases him but then no one was so I thought okay I guess I'll go for it and see what happens I thought again just make it hard get two of us here maybe a third guy lovely would be Glenn, if it was Glenn joins us as he's right there to uh, have three of us for the final lap I thought that would be that would be a sound group but caught Scott and his pace wasn't that high, so I again just went past him and just kind of keep this pace up to try to shed off any dead wood and uh, thin this group out as best we can. I didn't realise he was this far behind me actually. I thought he was right in my back wheel. I knew coming into the straight, uh, that was my forte and I could pull out a bit of distance or put some strain on others at this point. So got in the front, I knew he was there, obviously, 
um, put my head down. Only doing about 250 watts here, so nothing over threshold too high, knowing we had a lap to go. But I got as low as I could. I think I tried to flick him through here, maybe, and nothing happens. But yeah, okay. I don't think he's toying with you because I know people do struggle to come past me on the flat. And I know this guy sits upright on the hoods. He's a strong rider and gives a great draft because of his position, so I knew he was good to be with. Flicked him again and he's trying to come through. I uh, really had to back off the power here to like 100 watts to let him come through. And uh, at this point, I realised we had a gap. I think I look back here, just on the straight. Either way, we knew we had a gap here. I thought, let's push this on. I was still thinking, what's going to happen next? Will someone join us? How's it going to play out? I wasn't all in, I guess, with just the two of us. I thought that won't work, just two for a whole lap against a field that I felt was mostly fresh because the pace was not that high throughout the race. Maybe an illegal hand position here. Just want to take some tension out of the arms and relax them, upper body. So this corner here, I knew would be my first chance to look back and see what sort of gap we've had on the field. And up at the top here, there's a good view looking back and I looked to see how far, how much of a gap we've got and could not see the field at all. So now is the point I realized we have a chance to stay away Still wasn't confident, because I know the field picks up pace rapidly coming into the finish. So I knew it was going to be a tough ask, but first time I believed that maybe we can we can stick it. I think I spoke to Scott here saying, I'm happy with second, let's just make this work. Yeah. Make it work. I was going to come through, but I thought not quite ready yet, and then I knew I'm generally faster than most people on downhills. So I took the lead here, didn't realise I was distancing him a bit here. Had I known that, I may be more aware that he was feeling the flat terrain as a weakness to me. It wasn't apparent to me because I thought he was in my back wheel. Anyway, giving it all I got here, I really wasn't trying to win the race at this point. I was just trying to make this stick because I was still very concerned that we were not going to make it. And second is still good, better than nothing. So he comes through, I thought he just changed, swapping turns, and then uh, he pulled a gap out on me, and I couldn't give it any more. Not overly concerned I was going to lose him right now, I mean a bit concerned I guess, but I knew in the downhill and the flat terrain I would have a chance to reel him back in, but I did think this is a bad move by him, as I thought Two of us staying away for the full last lap is going to be challenging, but now trying to do it both of us separate like this, we may end up, he's trying to go for first, and we may both end up for nothing. So I did think this is a silly move on his behalf, but I thought I could reel him back in. As we go downhill here, I thought I could close this gap and take this corner for the first time in the race as I'd like, clipping the apex, using the whole road with no one around me. And that's A grade breakaway in front of the two, which is uh, indicating things slightly. Put that corner a bit faster than him because there's the gap starting to close here. At this point, I've not looked back. But once I look back uh, at turn two, I haven't looked back since because it wouldn't have changed my plan anyway. I'm putting my head down and going as hard as I can, so whether they're close or far, I didn't, it's not going to help. So turning my head may be the slight bit of wind resistance that may lose me a position. At this point now, I was getting concerned I won't catch him. I know the straight again is going to be a forte for me compared to him, but I didn't make much of a as much of an impact on the last flat section, so I was getting a bit concerned that first place could be getting out of my grasp. I don't know why I drifted to the right. I guess because he followed them, but really I just made the course longer for myself. Should have hugged the left. So 
And now I put my head down, get it as tight, get it as small, and arrow as I could. And just put my head down and just, yeah, just power to the line. Just thinking about like there was an interval in a workout, 10 seconds ago, just finish it. Now I realise I'm not going to catch him. Um, again, didn't look back. I was waiting for shadows to come flying up beside me. I was hoping to hold on for some placing, some podium position. I was just so worried about seeing some shadows appear, but uh, at this point, now, I think I realise, yep, I've got second. And very happy. I don't know how the pros celebrate, to be honest. I was just struggling to get air in. Trying not to crash my bike. Just so spent. No energy for celebrating. Great job, team.